There's two different types of metabolism. What are they? Anabolism. Anabolism. Catabolism. Uh, yeah, so I'm lecturing here at Darwin College and over at Teesside Uni building as well. Um, I teach like anatomy, physiology, research methods, um, uh, developing through life stages and stuff like that. So I do enjoy teaching. I think it's um, I think it's something that it's nice to be able to give back some like knowledge and experience to up and coming students and pass on your life experiences to them as well so I do enjoy that along with still practicing as a podiatrist as well so I'm able to get a good mixture of what I do as well. Okay so a lot of the things you just mentioned there in the interview do you think half the spinning mill players will understand the word use? Say? This will have flown straight over 99.9% .9 of the group of spinning mill players we have currently. They will have switched it off after about 5 seconds. They won't understand the word. The general consensus will be that it's probably the thickest group of individuals ever assembled for a football team. I would definitely agree with that. There is the exception probably of myself, Gav Cogden, Chrissy Moore. After that, I think, well, Bobby, Rashley have got common sense, but the rest of them are short on everything. Knowledge, common sense, the lot, really. So which players in the squad are the worst culprits for, the, for it? Well, I don't think it's going to come as a shock to anyone, but Callum Griffiths is... I don't know how he gets from Monday to Sunday in his life. I don't know how he gets through a week. Some of the stuff he comes out with is priceless. Craig Ruddy's another one. Although he's probably sharp when he's giving out a bit of crack, he's not the sharpest tool in the box for common sense. Mark Ellison, Mickey Ray, Mickey Ray, he's doing a degree, him. Oh, I tell you. So, uh, but I mean, obviously, all, all the lads um, they might, might not be the best academically, but this season doing well on the pitch. FA Val's final coming up in two weeks' time. Looking forward to it. Yeah, definitely. Oh, the lads are brilliant, like on the pitch and that and all. They're great lads. Um, but we've done really well this year. Um, I think over the last couple of years we've probably underachieved in the Vaz itself and we've dominated like locally around the North East and that. But I think this year we've definitely made a, a conscious effort to um, do as well as we could in the Vaz. I think getting to the final is a great achievement for everyone. So everyone's really looking forward to now, especially with the build up and you see all the, the media days and stuff as well. So hopefully it's, um, hopefully it's a winning occasion.